Franz, a burly sausage vendor in Vienna, chuckled as he wrapped a steaming quesecrana for a Romanian tourist. Welcome to Austria, he boomed, his voice thick with the Viennese lilt. Beautiful country, isn't it? Shame you folks can't join the party. The tourist, puzzled, shook his head. Whispers swirled around Franz's stall, whispers of a cultural clash, a strain on resources. But beneath the polite veneer, something darker lurked. Was it Romania's booming workforce, a perceived threat to Austrian jobs, or perhaps whispers of corruption that tainted Romania's image? This might be a story, but it truly shares the reality of many Romanians. Austria, a beacon of free movement within the Schengen zone, is keeping Romania out. Is Air Schengen a ploy by Austria? This is the ugly truth behind Austria's constant refusal to expand Schengen's access to Romania. Schengen is like a golden ticket for easy travel in Europe. You can move between countries without showing your passport or waiting in long lines. Currently, 27 countries are part of this special group, with Croatia being the latest addition. That means almost 420 million people can enjoy this smooth travel experience. By law, every EU country is supposed to be in the Schengen, except for Ireland and Cyprus. Ireland made a special agreement to opt out, and Cyprus faces unique challenges due to its division. However, while many European countries benefit from this borderless privilege, some countries like Romania do not have that luxury. Although Romania is set to join Schengen for air and sea travel starting from March 31st, questions arise about whether this is enough. Is Austria playing a double game? A game that many in Bucharest can't even predict? But we first have to go back to last year's developments before we come to the tactics of Austria. After a lengthy wait, Romania and Bulgaria received the news that they've been anticipating. The European Commission's press release confirmed that both countries would join the Schengen area for free movement across air and sea borders. Referred to as Air Schengen, this change will take effect on March 31, 2024. However, there's a catch. Austria has laid down a condition for the full implementation of Air Schengen, which is directly linked to Syria and Afghanistan. The path to Schengen membership for Romania and Bulgaria has been filled with obstacles and delays, marked by objections from various EU members. The hurdles began in 2011, shortly after their EU accession in 2007. Concerns about corruption and organized crime in Bulgaria, raised notably by the Netherlands and Finland, led to repeated exclusions from Schengen votes. This deadlock, known as the Schengen Limbo, persisted for 10 years. Even prominent European nations like France voiced worries about corruption in both Romania and Bulgaria, along with other issues concerning migration and the rule of law. But Romania and Bulgaria have diligently addressed these important concerns over the years, which were acknowledged by the European Commission as early as 2011. Furthermore, in recent years, many within the European Union have deemed both countries ready to join the Schengen area. Unfortunately, the agreement was repeatedly blocked by certain EU member states due to concerns about the rule of law and the potential increases in migration. Then came the moment when prominent entities such as France and the EU advocated for approval for Romania, Bulgaria and others. However, when the Schengen issue was brought up, there was always someone who opposed it. In this case, that someone was Austria. The year 2022 marked Austria's veto. Joining the opposition, Austria expressed worries about illegal migration, citing an influx of asylum seekers using the Balkan route. These concerns, driven by domestic political pressures, effectively prevented Romania and Bulgaria from fully entering the Schengen area, while Croatia, the EU's newest member, celebrated its own accession last year. Until early December, Austria consistently argued that the Schengen area should improve before expanding, citing concerns about insufficient resources for guarding the external border. The Netherlands shared similar apprehensions earlier. However, a shift occurred in early December last year, when Austria began to compromise by proposing a partial entry restricted to air travel, termed Air Schengen. This move helped break the deadlock and was part of intense negotiations led by the Spanish rotating presidency of the Council of the EU. Nevertheless, Discussions about Romania and Bulgaria joining the Schengen passport-free zone by land will continue into the new year. Austria's interior minister, Gerhard Karner, 
advocated for more Frontex officers along the Bulgarian, Turkish, and Romanian-Serbian borders, as well as additional EU funding to safeguard these borders from irregular migrant influxes. The minister emphasized that the implementation of Air Schengen will occur once the necessary prerequisites are met and firmly established. And if you like what you see, subscribe to the channel and like the video. Well, the question arises, how much more does Romania need to accomplish at this point? Is this a form of coercion or something else entirely? This implies that there will be a substantial increase in military presence at the EU's external borders, particularly along the Bulgaria-Turkey and Romania-Serbia borders. Land borders will continue to be closely monitored, especially the border between Romania and Bulgaria. Additionally, these two countries are expected to accept refugees, particularly from Afghanistan and Syria. These are the explicit conditions and the stance that all parties, including the three countries involved, have agreed upon. However, if one were to explore the European Commission's website, these details may not appear to be any clearer. Two new cooperation frameworks have been announced for border and migration management, working closely with Bulgaria and Romania. These frameworks are built upon successful pilot projects that started in March 2023, moving from temporary solutions to more sustainable ones. Bulgaria and Romania are bringing new energy to efforts in managing external borders and migration collectively. With these cooperation frameworks, they'll support European initiatives to improve EU security at borders and handle migration challenges. This includes enhancing measures to border management, asylum processes, reception facilities, and return systems, as well as improving police cooperation within the Schengen area. Additionally, initial steps will be taken to put into action the new Pact on Migration and Asylum in both Bulgaria and Romania, focusing on national implementation plans. To support these efforts, the Commission and relevant EU agencies will provide necessary assistance. The Commission has also allocated 85 million euros under the Border Management and Visa Instrument, or BMVI 2021 to 2027, to strengthen capabilities at EU external borders. Bulgaria and Romania can access additional funding for upgrading border surveillance systems, acquiring transportation with thermal imaging capabilities, purchasing operational equipment like motion detection and thermal imaging cameras, and enhancing existing systems. The website outlines future steps, including ongoing steering committee meetings with Bulgaria and Romania to implement measures agreed upon in the cooperation frameworks. These meetings will involve representatives from the Commission, EU agencies such as Frontex, the EU Agency for Asylum, Europol, and national authorities. While these developments appear promising, with Romania and Bulgaria gaining partial Schengen membership and approvals for new frameworks, some may question whether these actions are a genuine commitment or a tactic to garner support before the upcoming EU elections. While Air Schengen offers passport-free travel by air, it's a small piece of the puzzle. Businesses and citizens rely heavily on land borders for trade and personal journeys. This limited access creates a false sense of progress while delaying full membership, which could take years. Austria's initial opposition to full Schengen membership for Romania was based on border security concerns. Air Schengen might be a political ploy to appease domestic audiences without addressing those concerns. This tactic keeps Romania in limbo, vulnerable to further political hurdles. Accepting Air Schengen sets a dangerous precedent for unequal treatment within the EU. It creates a two-tier system where some members enjoy full benefits while others face limitations. And this weakens the core principle of free movement and could lead to similar restrictions for other countries. The EU has a history of delaying full Schengen membership. Croatia waited nine years after meeting the criteria. Similar tactics could be used to keep Romania waiting indefinitely discouraging investment and undermining trust in the EU's commitment to a unified Europe. Limited access to land borders hinders economic growth for Romania. Businesses face delays and additional costs for transporting goods, making them less competitive. Tourism, a significant contributor to the Romanian economy, also suffers as land travel becomes more cumbersome. The prolonged wait for full Schengen membership erodes trust between Romania and other EU members. It sends the message that Romania is not a full partner, despite fulfilling the necessary requirements. This undermines the spirit of cooperation and integration that the EU is built upon. 
Full Schengen membership would be a win-win for both Romania and the EU. It will boost economic activity, improve border security through collaboration, and strengthen the Union as a whole. Delaying this process weakens the EU's commitment to its founding principles. Instead of Air Schengen, the EU should focus on addressing Austria's specific security concerns. Joint border patrols or increased cooperation between security forces could be explored. Additionally, an independent evaluation of Romania's border security measures, conducted by the EU Commission, would provide a more objective assessment. By taking a firm stance against Air Schengen and advocating for full membership, Romania can safeguard its economic well-being, strengthen its position within the EU, and promote the core values of a unified Europe. This approach would not only benefit Romania, but also strengthen the EU as a whole. So, what are your thoughts on this? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Please like the video and subscribe to our channel. And if you want to know a little bit more about this topic, why don't you watch our video on why the EU is running out of unity?